Good morning. I am J. Suresh Kumar, working as an assistant professor, Department of English, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to see English Literature for Competitive Examination paper for B. English 6th semester students. Let's begin and turn into the Unit 1. Unit 1 consists of model literature. It starts from 1372-1600 poetry, modern literature 1072-1600. And modern literature drama and age of Chaucer from 1340 to 1400, from the age of Chaucer to Renaissance, 1400 to 1520. Modern literature it starts from 1370 to 1600, especially the poetry in the 16th, 13th century. The English poetry has changed dramatically. There were no battles and no pamphlets or Ezra Pound and style of polemics and no warning fractions. By the end of the century, the poetic revolution had taken place. The modern readers and writers have long since forgotten what happened back then. But poetry today won't do the same without the 13th century. Modern Literature Prose It is interesting to observe the English prose writers attempt different kinds of prose during this period. Fisher and Craner in 1489 and 1556 popularized the theological writings and historical prose. Especially the theological writings and historical prose was especially famous down those areas. Presented in the Chronicle of the England by the Capergrave. The philosophical prose appeared in the Governance of England by Frosty Q in the year of 1394 to 1476. Eliot 1492 to 1546 popularized the educational prose, prepared the way of the medical prose in the Castle of Health, William Tyndale's the translation of Bible, his highly praised worthy. Next topic, the modern literature drama. The origin of English drama seems vague. During this religious period, drama was written according to the Bible and no changes was tolerated. The religious performance lasted till 16th century. On those age, the drama, was drama theme was specialized by religious performance. The later the development of drama was morality play and it is a dramatization of personified abstraction generally a vice against a virtue. In this place the character were allegorically personified such as death, sin, a good, a bad, angel, even uh, deadly sins. Next the topic age of Chaucer. It starts on 1342-1400. In the literary history the age of Chaucer is dated from the 1342-1400. The age covers the three English monarchs especially Edward III, Richard II and Henry IV. It was a medieval period in the history of England. It was a period of glaring social contrast and a rapid political changes. It was a dark and a dismal side of social contrast. The mass of the people who lived in the poverty and misery. Major on their right works are Geoffrey Chaucer, William Tyndale, Sir Thomas More and William Langland and John Wycliffe. Next, the last topic in the first unit was from Chaucer to Renaissance. The age from Chaucer to Renaissance was 1400 to 1520. In this chapter, however, we have discussed some authors before the age of Chaucer and some authors after the Chaucer roughly up to the end of 15th century. The term Renaissance means a rebirth or revival, became a national movement during the region of Queen Elizabeth. Elizabethan critics is the literary theories followed the Greek and the Roman models. Homer, Virgil, Plato, Aristotle, Sophocles, models of various forms of literature at the time. Thank you for watching the video.